With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, so we are given with a question which says, a three part rocket begins intact as a single object in distance outer space. Traveling with a, uh, to the right with a speed of 4 km per second. The first stage having mass M1 as 950,000 kg explodes away from the rear of the rocket with unknown velocity V1F. Later the second stage that is having a mass of 550,000 kg explodes away from the rear with a final velocity to the right with 6 km per second. The third stage having mass M3 as 350,000 kg ends up with final velocity to the right with 13 km per second. All three moves along x axis, ignoring gravity. Assume that part of rocket have constant masses. We need to find the impulse received by the first stage rocket. For impulse, we can write impulse is nothing but it is j, which is nothing but f dt. All right, force for a fraction of second, we can uh, denote it with this formula j equals to f dt. And we know f dt is nothing but it is change in momentum all right so basically we are uh, we have been asked to calculate the change in momentum for the first stage rocket all right so uh, let's say this is our equation number one so we have to first calculate uh, the final momentum and initial momentum of the first stage rocket so that we can calculate the value of impulse now let's begin our calculation over this side so we can say to calculate the momentum uh, change in momentum we have to conserve the momentum along the x direction as we can see uh, there are uh, there is no force acting externally on this system and we have been also given that we can ignore gravity effect so there is no external force on this system and we can conserve the momentum so for the first part of the moment uh, for the system when just m1 is detached from the rocket so we can write m2 and m3 would uh, was moving together and just m1 was detached all right this was our uh, m2 and this is our m3 and just we can say m1 was detached from it so we can write so from here we can say let's suppose the velocity of combined mass of m1 m2 and m3 is moving with speed let's suppose it has to be v in the rightward direction and we have been given that when m1 is de uh, detached its velocity is been given as uh, v1f all right so it is v1f so we can say uh, in this case if we try to apply the conservation of momentum for the system so we can write momentum initial will be equals to momentum final so we can uh, clearly see over here momentum initial can be written as m1 uh, when the system was completely combined and so we can write momentum will be m1 plus m2 plus m3 and the whole of the system is moving with velocity 4, mi 4 km per second as it has been given in the question now when the uh, m1 is detached so it is moving with v1f velocity and m2 and m3 let's suppose it has to be moving with velocity v so we can write momentum after the detach of the first stage so we can write it as m1 plus m2 plus m3 v plus of uh, this can be written as so v it is over here and we can see m1 is moving with m1 vf velocity so we can write it as m1 v1 f all right so this is what the final velocity of the system will become after the detach of the first stage so we can write m1 plus m2 plus m3 if we uh, total it so we can write m1 is been given as 9 9.5 uh, 9 10 raised to 5 so we can write 9.5 5.5 and 3.5 so it becomes 18.5 into 10 raised to 5 all right kg into the velocity that has been given as 4 kilometer per second so multiplying it with 4 so from here we can write m2 plus m3 so if we uh, uh, do the sum of m2 plus m3 so we can say m2 is 5.5 uh, into 10 raised to 5 and this is 3.5 so it becomes 9 so we can write it as uh, instead of m2 plus m3 we can write it as 9 into 10 raised to 5 into v all right uh, that is moving uh, m2 and m3 
three combined masses moving with velocity v and here it can be written as m1 vf so from here we can write m1 has been given to be as as 95 so we can write it as 9.5 into 10 raised to 5 v1f if anyhow we can be able to calculate this value of uh, v and this v1 vf so we can easily get the value of uh, final momentum so we can say uh, this to get the value or this term can be instead replaced with the momentum all right m1 v1f is the final momentum so we can write it as uh, pf1 that we are interested in, uh, in finding so we can write it as 18.5 into 4 if we do so so we can get uh, this as 3774 into 10 raised to 5 uh, and this can be done as minus of 9.5 instead of 9 in uh, all right so let's write this way all right so this is what the final momentum we are getting let's say this is our equation number 2 we have with us uh, the initial momentum with which the uh, rocket is moving and we have with us the final momentum so first we have to calculate this value v for that we will take uh, the condition 2 so let's take it over here so we can say now uh, calculation of this v all right or we can say calculation of this term that is 9 into 10 raised to 5 into v if we get if we anyhow can able to calculate this term so we can get the final momentum of the first stage rocket so for that uh, we will consider this two first case that is m2 and m3 while moving combined and when they get detached all right so when they get detached so we can say this is m3 this is m2 and now let's suppose that when they initially we have considered both are moving with velocities v all right after they get detached so we can write it as let's suppose it is moving with velocity v2f and this is moving with velocity v3f so uh, now we can write this is the initial condition and when they both get detached in the second stage so we can write again we can see uh, as there is no external force so momentum remains conserved so we can write initial momentum can be written as m2 plus m3 into v this is the initial case all right and final case we can write it as m2 v2f plus of m3 v3f and we have been given with the value of v2f uh, that is we can see it as 6 and this is 13 so we can substitute the values over here so we can write this is m2 plus m3 over here so m2 plus m3 we have just calculated it as 9 into 10 raised to 5 into v and m2 we know it has been given as uh, 5.5 10 raised to 5 5.5 into 10 raised to 5 into v2f is given as 6 plus here it is m3 that has been given as 3.5 into 10 raised to 5 into v3f is given as 13 so if we solve this value we can get this becomes 33 into 10 raised to 5 plus of this can be written as 40 5.5 into 10 raised to 5 and if we sum this up so we can get the answer as 78.5 into 10 raised to 5 uh, this is the value we are getting for this that is 9 into 10 raised to 5 into v all right so uh, let's say this is our equation number 3 so if we have calculated this value now we can say if we substitute this value in equation 2 so we can write from equation 2 and 3 so we can get uh, we can write this as P, pf1 that is final momentum of first stage rocket that is pf1 can be written as this is 74 into 10 raised to 5 minus of 78.5 into 10 raised to 5 all right so from here we can say this uh, answer is coming out to be 4.5 minus 4.5 into 10 raised to 5 kg kilometer per second all right so this is what the final momentum for the first stage rocket we are getting and since it is getting uh, the value coming out to be negative so we can say it is moving it is having a velocity in the leftward direction that is v1 but so now we can say from equation one we can write uh, 
j that is impulse we are interested in finding can be written as pf1 minus of momentum initial for the first stage rocket that is i1 we can write so final momentum we have calculated the final momentum for the first stage rocket we have calculated it as minus 4.5 into 10 raised to 5 minus momentum initial we can say for the first stage uh, initially it was moving with velocity 4 km per second and its mass is 9.5 10 raised to 5 so we can write uh, this can be written as 9.5 into 10 raised to 5 into 4 so after solving this value we can get the answer as this can be written as minus 4.5 into 10 raised to 5 minus of this can be written as uh, 30 uh, this will be 1938 into 10 raised to 5 all right so solving this value we can write uh, this can be written as minus of 4.2 42.5 so we can write this as 40 minus 42.5 into 10 raised to 5 kg kilometer per second so this is what the uh, impulse on the first stage rocket uh, we are getting and negative sign just shows the direction in, it is in the opposite or in the leftward direction so in terms of magnitude we can say uh, this can be written as j bar so in terms of magnitude we can write it as uh, this can be written as 4 to 5 and 1 this much that is 42 uh, lakhs 50 thousand kg kilometer per second so this is the impulse imparted on the first stage rocket we are getting and if we compare it with the option so we can say option b is the right answer to this question so i hope you have understood the concept well and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.